Right, I tell you, I did, champs. Tell you who then, Bobby? Uh, hush, here comes a whiz bang, and I think you know what I'm talking about. Woof! Woof! Well, it looks like it's finally happening. Mac going to arm. And not only going to arm, using a 12 core beast apparently. This is all according to Minji Ho. Yeah, good old Minji. So, what does this mean? Should you wait for the next MacBook? Let's discuss. So I guess if you don't know, pretty much every Mac you get runs on Intel CPUs. And many people would say, oh, I'd love to see some AMDs in those. Because AMD are killing it with CPUs at the moment. But I digress. When we're talking about ARM processors, I think we're talking about a MacBook. We're not talking about a MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air as far as we can tell. Or any of the more powerful Macs. They're probably going to stay on Intel for a while. Maybe AMD. But for a MacBook, it might make sense to use an ARM processor. Now the biggest hurdle to an ARM processor in Mac OS. And apparently this is going to run Mac OS. It's not going to be a MacBook running iPad OS. Which it could do. They don't have to worry about emulation or anything like that. Because iOS and Mac OS are completely different languages, let's just say. And if you wanted to know why Macs are so expensive or any like gaming PC or anything like that, it's Intel, NVIDIA and a not so much AMD. But AMD would do the same if they're in the lead too. They would increase their prices. But the main cost of a MacBook Pro is Intel. Yes, 100% it's Intel. And they are said to be saving at least 60% on CPU costs. And that's the big chunk of the cost of the laptop. Well, they said up to 60%. But I believe it will be probably even more than 60%. Because it would cost Apple stuff all to make these chips. They're going to be making it on a 5 nanometer process. And it's going to have 12 cores. And if it's running in emulation, it will need all of those 12 cores. Because if you've ever seen, like, say, for example, the Surface X, if you've ever seen any of those Windows laptops or devices with ARM processors in them, they run like dogs. They can't even run 64-bit apps. Yeah, it's just a joke. Now, the thing is, Apple have been shipping Macs with ARM processors on them for quite a while now. The T2 chip is an ARM processor and it's had its issues, there's no doubt there, but they can learn how to do these things already. In a Mac with a T2 chip, the T2 chip controls the audio, it controls the storage drive, the encryption, the camera, so they already know how to run things in emulation. And also Apple designed the chip so they can put in like decoders and they can put in instruction sets to sort of mitigate the performance loss of emulation. And in fact, sometimes may even be superior. Say for example, you've got a MacBook Pro with a T2 chip. It exports H.265 really fast. It uses the T2 chip to do it. It's got a special decoder on the chip. And because Apple designed this chip, that's what they could do. They could build in decoders. Maybe they build in a special decoder just for x86 or an instruction set or something along those lines where it can be doing these things in hardware rather than emulating in software. And Apple are already doing it with the T2 chip already. We'll have to wait and see. 12 cores, they say at least 4 are efficiency cores, so they're the lower powered cores. So that would leave 8 performance cores, which would give it a lot of power. And it may offset some of that emulation. Will it be enough? Who knows? Will it run all the apps? Who knows? I think with Apple it will, 100%. You'll be able to run 64-bit apps. I mean, Mac OS is only 64-bit. 32-bit stuff does not work in Mac. Will they run an ARM-based Mac OS? I doubt it very much. Now, a lot of people erroneously say that if you have an ARM-based laptop, it's going to get 20 hours battery life. Yeah, that is true if you've got a big battery and you compared it to a, like a 15-watt part and you were pushing the processor. But you've got to remember, the MacBook Air has better life than the iPad Pro. That's not always going to be the case. You're going to get better battery life. And if it's having to work a lot more harder because it's in emulation, you see the Surface X, it doesn't get good battery life. The Surface Pro 7 gets better battery life. Also, these ARM processors, they have to use more wattage and more power when they're doing heavier tasks. Now, it will probably be fanless. So that's one advantage. Ash is going to love that. But I don't expect some massive increase in battery life because if it's a MacBook, I think they're just going to make it really super thin and light and probably have a smaller battery. And I don't expect it to have much more battery life than, say, an iPad or a MacBook Air. Although the new Apple, they don't mind putting in a bigger battery these days. So maybe they can get that super battery life and that's like a reason why you would want to buy it. In all other ways, why would you want to buy it? It's got to have something to make you want to buy it. So it's either got to be super thin and light MacBook, battery life all day, or why would you buy it? Just to save Apple some money, like who cares? You don't care if Apple are saving money on it. Yes, it makes sense 
to Apple. But for me personally, I'd rather stick with x86 and I'd rather stick with macOS without emulation. There are rumors of Logic and Final Cut Pro coming to ARM or like iPad. So that means all Apple's first party apps that can easily make it work on macOS. It'll probably be more efficient running an ARM app rather than an x86 app. Actually, that'll be very interesting to see which one's going to be more impacted by performance because it's not running in its sort of native execution. So for me personally, I wouldn't touch one of these MacBooks with an ARM processor unless it has like killer battery life and the performance isn't munted too much. And one thing's for sure, once it's in Mac OS, we're going to be able to see with all the tools how it really performs, like especially when it comes to pegging all those cores really hard for a long time. We're really going to see how these ARM processors hold up. Can they actually maintain a high clock for a very long time, hours at a time? Do they have to really clock down? Well, we'll have to wait and see. Can't wait to actually find out. So anyway, catch you in the next one. Tally ho. If you have an iPhone, you probably have a Mac. And the ultimate optimization tool for your Mac is Clean My Mac X. Leave a link in the description where you can get that thing. If your Mac is running like a PC and you really want it to run fast again, use Clean My Mac X. It'll make your Mac sing.